I've been following this since June when I first heard about it from a live stream at E3 by Paul Francis of Chronicle Collectibles. So, sorry about that guys. So one of the things that we've got debuting here at the show, which we posted a QR code for earlier, is the Nuka Dark Rum. The Nuka Dark Rum will be out towards the end of the year with the release of the film, and yes, this is an actual spirit. It will have some of the best tasting rum that you've ever tasted packed into the bottle. The bottle is really cool because it is a plastic cover over a glass bottle that's inside. So not only is it a really cool Fallout collectible, but you can actually drink it if you're an adult and you can enjoy it with your friends. Now, he mentioned it would be released along with the film, but I'm pretty sure he meant to say the game, referring to Fallout 76 uh, on November 14th. After several delays, this clip was released around mid-December by the Silver Screen Bottling Company, which gave us a better look at that plastic cover Paul was referring to. Now I guess a lot of people are really upset about the plastic casing and feel like they were led to believe that it would be a glass bottle, um, leading the company to release this official statement. Now I knew up front that it would be a plastic shell and that didn't stop me from ordering, but I can see how that might upset someone if they didn't know. To be fair, the company or the, the official description doesn't mention anything about the material being used and none of the promotional picture, pictures show any seams. So here's a quick comparison shot of you know the promotional picture and a photo that I took trying to recreate that. However, in the company's defense, they did send the video to everyone who pre-ordered before it actually shipped, so everyone was fully aware of what they'd be receiving with plenty of time to take advantage of the return policy if they weren't satisfied. Honestly, I think the majority of the backlash is simply bad timing with the product's release, as a lot of people are still justifiably upset about um, the issues related to Fallout 76, so there has been a bit of a mob mentality. Regardless of how you feel about all that, um, it's finally here and I think it makes a great collectible. Before getting to that though, here's a, here's a quick look at how it originally appeared in the Nuka World DLC for Fallout 4. The outer shell does need to be removed in order to pour it properly, but it doesn't really look like it's made to be easily removed. Um, I managed to pry it open with a flathead screwdriver within a few minutes. So the quality of the plastic, it's, it is a hard plastic, but it does have a little bit of ply to it. Um, the screwdriver that I use to pry it open is from my Swiss Army knife, which has soft round edges. Um, I think if you used a sharper tool, it, it actually might strip the plastic, so you might want to choose a different tool um, or just find something with soft round edges like the tool I was using. And here's a better look at the clips so that you actually know where they are. There's four of them up each side. And it also has some round pegs that snap together. I did end up snapping one of the clips. Um, I don't think it's really a huge concern since that part is hidden anyway, but you do definitely need to be careful. So I figured I would try it a few different ways. Um, I'll be tr drinking it dry on ice uh, mixed with some soda and because of the recent holidays I'll also try it with some eggnog.
So now I don't, I don't drink very often, uh, maybe a few times a year if that, so take my opinion on the taste with a grain of salt, but honestly it's not bad. Uh, I definitely prefer it chilled as the ice makes it smooth and takes the edge off. Um, the drink I made with the eggnog was way too strong, but by the time I got to the soda I, I couldn't even taste it anymore. Overall, I think it's a unique, fun product, and it looks great on the shelf. Um, would a glass bottle have been cooler? Yeah, absolutely, but I mean, come on. You could make a similar complaint about the material used in the vast majority of licensed replicas, and it's still pretty cool for what it is. That's just my opinion. Um, take from it what you will. And I'll give one more quick view here next to some other collectibles of mine, uh, just so you can get a better idea of the scale. And thanks for watching.